Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're really excited to introduce two new products to the marketplace. Uh, as you know, the Innovation Factory never slows down at State Level Avionics. We keep pushing and pushing and we really don't stop. So uh, yeah, today we're introducing the Slavix Touch Mini and the Slavix Touch. Uh, basically the two products are driven on the same concept in the design. They both have two touchscreen monitors and they've got the Sim Innovations Air Manager Knobster that actually sits in between them. It actually sits right here in both panels. Uh, and so what these touchscreens allow you to do is use Air Manager uh, in a Microsoft environment, touch a monitor, and then actually be able to spin different dials, such as changing the altimeter uh, on, on your, uh, your G1000, for example. Uh, so really, really exciting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, we're going to get into it. I've also got a little bonus customer panel to show you guys. Uh, that uses a few different unique things. It uses our modular mounting system, and then it also uses this concept of the touchscreen uh, to mo uh, monitors as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started. As I mentioned, uh, we're releasing the Slavix Touch and the Slavix Touch Mini. This here, I want to walk through the Slavix Touch Mini. I want to walk through some of the dimensions of the Slavix Touch Mini. Uh, and then also show you how the 13.3 inch touchscreen monitor actually mounts to the back of the Slavix panel. So, uh, you know, real quick, the reason that we came out with the Slavix Touch Mini and we don't have just the Slavix Touch is because there's one main factor, and that is the height of the panel. A lot of customers are very concerned with the height of the panel, rightfully so. It blocks monitor views, and you don't want to be kind of staring up at your monitor from your seat. So the height of the panel is really important. By having a slightly smaller monitor, a 13.3 inch, and that's diagonal versus 15.6 inch diagonal, it allows that height of the panel to be reduced. So something that's very important. The Slavix Touch Mini here has the cutouts for the honeycomb yoke, as well as the honeycomb uh, throttle here. So that Bravo throttle is, is coming out here very shortly in mid-October, and uh, everybody will be able to get their hands on that. So, uh, you know, when you purchase the Slavix Touch or the Slavix Touch Mini, it does uh, come with our CNC milled uh, monitor mounts here. And, uh, and you can actually see here, you know, they're, they're really nicely engraved with the, the stay level engraving there. Hopefully you can you can see that coming through in the camera. But so we, uh, we really try to do a very nice job. These are all milled to the, the thicknesses of the monitors and they basically just go uh, right back here and some bolts and, and some nuts to secure them. And so what you do here, this is a 13.3 inch touchscreen monitor. The actual monitor is listed in the description of the, uh, of the for sale pad, uh, for sale page for this panel. So you can actually see uh, what the exact monitor is to, to get. But basically the idea here is you're using Sim Innovations Air Manager and this just sits right behind here like so. And then it mounts with the brackets, right? So you have one monitor that sits there and hopefully you can't see too many reflections of too many boxes behind the camera, but sorry if they're, if they're there. Uh, this here is the, the Air Manager or sir, the Sim Innovations Air Manager, the, the Knobster. So this, this is used to actually mount right here. And then you can, the idea is you actually touch the screen, which would be touching a gauge. So like a G1000 gauge, uh, GNS 530 gauge, 430 gauge, kind of whatever your, your setup looks like. You can touch it with the touch screen. Air Manager recognizes that you touch it and then you can spin it with the Knobster. Highly recommend reaching out to Russ Barlow's channel on YouTube. Russ is really the pioneer of this whole air manager, knobster, touchscreen um, configuration. I'll be completely honest, I'm not the, the expert on this whole thing. So um, that's basically the overall concept with having the touch mini as well as the touch panel. Uh, the difference is, is just one uses a slightly larger, larger screen. This is the smaller screen, the 13.3 inch. 
Now, I'm just gonna get into a quick dimensions comparison here so people can get a, a feel for this. You're about 33 and a half inches long and you're about 15 and a half inches tall. Um, so that's, that's the dimensions here, the Touch Mini. The next, we'll walk through the, the regular Touch. All right, so here's the regular Slavic's Touch. This is not the Mini, this is the regular size. This uses the 15.6 inch monitors. So slightly taller, slightly larger. Still, once again, have the Knobster mounted right here in the middle. Dimensionally, about 35 and a half, but the height is where it differs. You're about 16 and three quarters on the height. So quite a bit taller, uh, just a little bit bigger, and overall, you know, just a little bit bigger look and feel. Once again, this one here is made for the honeycomb yoke and honeycomb throttle. Knobster mounting here in the middle, and the idea is you'd have a touchscreen monitor in each location. All right, so the last uh, panel I want to talk about, I mentioned earlier, uh, a customer panel. So I really like showing these customer panels off because people can really understand the application of what people are doing and why they're doing it and how they're getting flexibility built into their panel uh, when they purchase it. So this is a, a really big panel. It's really long, I think it's like 43 inches, let me see. Um, 43 and a half. Okay, 43 and a half inches. I think it was about 15 and a half tall. Yeah, 15, 15 and a half tall. So um, I, still got, I still got it in memory bank up there when we, when we made this thing in CAD. But basically uh, the concept here is, is this uses the smaller 13.3 inch monitor. So that was the monitor that you saw before. It just slides right in here. Okay, so really nice like this. It's going to allow them to use Air Manager with a touch screen. And what they've opted for as well is this middle section here is actually for a modular mounting plate. Okay, so we've mounted the Knobster sideways, just like this, to save a little bit of height. So we've mounted it sideways. And then this modular plate goes here. Two Logitech FIP gauges, one real Sim Gear 750. They can take that out. If they want to switch to, once again, Knobster would be here. Two Logitech FIP gauges, Real Sim Gear 430, Real Sim Gear 530, Real Sim Gear GMA 350. Honeycomb yoke, honeycomb throttle, two Logitech radio panels or Logitech radio panel, switch panel, Logitech radio panel, and the Logitech auto panel, whatever, autopilot panel, whatever you'd like. Uh, they'll most likely use probably two radio panels. It would make the most amount of sense because the honeycomb yoke and honeycomb throttle, if they have an autopilot stack, they have the starter switches, light switches, and all that, and the actual Logitech switch panel too. Uh, so they most likely have a couple of radios. That would allow them to do like a nav one, nav two on the bottom one, or a transponder, then a COM one, COM two on the top one, something like that. Uh, but the, the Logitech radio panel and switch panel, though, are actually, you know, really supported quite nicely uh, on a lot of different um, simulators. So, so that's a customer panel. Pretty simple. Uh, they're pumped about it. I'm pumped about it. Should be really great. This is, once again, our gunmetal color. Uh, just showing off another variety here of, of how you do, you know, build in a little bit of flexibility with your panel while still maintaining, you know, a common PFD with that, that iPad. So... Uh, hope you guys found this informative, and uh, we'll catch you guys a little later, and stay level. We'll see you.